Hello, I am Dr. Archana Patil. I have done my MD in obstetrics and gynecologist and I have been practicing since 20 years in Manak Healthcare Hospital, Nehru. Today we are going to talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. I am sure many of you all have heard about PCOD or PCOS. PCOD is a disease which is now epidemically increasing in incidence. Many of our girls and newlyweds are suffering from this, majorly because of the sedentary lifestyle of them, lack of exercise and unbalanced diet which they are going through. What is PCOD? PCOD is appearance of multiple follicles of ov in ovaries which gives a bulky ovary and because of this there are certain hormonal changes imbalances which occurs in a body and which represents through many symptoms so what are the symptoms first of all we let us talk about the incidence there's almost 5 to 10 percent of the young girls today have pcod and it is increasing it is the inc trend is towards increasing the symptoms as i said before if it is a teenage girl normally the symptoms will start with irregular menses increase in weight that is uh, obesity and gradually if she's got, if she gets married then she might have a history of infertility even if it is still not treated she might start getting hirsutism hirsutism which means there is increase of facial hair there is increased baldness there is increase of male pattern of hair growth more of a male pattern of hair growth is seen on this such patients and uh, simultaneously there is hoarseness of voice if it is still not treated if it goes worse there is hoarseness of voice which develops over a period of time how do we treat this first how do we diagnose this normally patient presents with irregular menstruation or increase in weight gain as mentioned before if we have to diagnose first line of uh, diagnosis is uh, sonography is advised on sonography there are bulky ovaries which are seen there are multiple follicles uh, cystic uh, spaces which are seen in the ovary on which the sonologist will tell that this patient might have a polycystic ovary and then we have to do little biochemicals test to rule out other uh, reasons for this when a polycystic ovary is diagnosed normally the treatment given is again there is a weight loss is the major component in this there has to be a routine exercise regimen given to the patient there has to be a balanced diet where uh, fatty foods has to be cut down there has to be a, a regular uh, exercise pattern which is normally has to be followed best exercise here is one hour walking which leads to regular ovulation pathophysiology if we talk why does this multiple cysts start occurring in the ovary is every ovary has many follicles and every month only one follicle will increase and this follicle has a egg or a ovum so this follicle will rupture and this ovum will come out this is this process is called ovulation but in polycystic ovaries the follicle only grows in the size it doesn't break and the ovum doesn't come out so there is a an ovulation that means there is failure of ovulation and which leads to the cystic spaces because the follicle is grown and it just remains dormant there it starts releasing different types of hormones and again the patient doesn't get regular menstruation or else she will have breakthrough bleeding she will have sometimes excessive menorrhagia because she will have long periods of amenorrhea that is loss of menses so and because she is having an ovulation she there are high chances that she'll become a infertile girl or infertile lady so there is a different protocols of line of management for such patients if they are not married then normally we just give the insulin sensitizer exercise diet plan and we tend to regularize the menses even periodical oral contraceptive pills are given so that the periods are regularized properly but in case she is a infertile girl then we first tend to give ovulation induction drugs to them we try to induce ovulation in them and then try uh, help her conceive 
in case she has a advanced stage of polycystic ovaries where she has got hirsutism hirsutism means excess of facial hair then there are certain laser therapies which are given to patients so that the hair comes down there are some certain cosmetic uh, treatments which we advise to the patient for the uh, removal of excessive hair in case she is having obesity we advise the weight loss plans to such patients there are also sometimes uh, situations where patient becomes uh, very obese plus very very much hirsutic and there is the implication on this that patient tends to go into depression because of this and for that sometimes we need to counsel the patient we need to mo um, uh, motivate the patient to lose weight and to take treatment proper treatment regular follow up will give you a proper result for polycystic ovaries polycystic ovaries uh, the implications of that that this patient might have diabetes mellitus in future uh, future of her life she might have infertility if she is a young girl she might she'll have high chances that she will have a infertility uh, problem in her future life so it's always better that it she's treated on time so that she doesn't go into such pay, such phase where uh, there are cosmetic problems that starts coming because many of time many of the times this cosmetic problems are irreversible there is no permanent treatment for that until and unless they go for high end laser therapies uh, for uh, ovulation in the, apart from ovulation induction there are also ov ovarian drilling which we do that is a operative treatment which is given for huge, uh, uh, polycystic ovaries with huge ovaries so even uh, ovarian drilling is one of the uh, options for such patients in case of polycystic ovaries thyroid evaluation and serum prolactin level evaluation insulin levels has to be uh, monitored because these patients might tend to get go into hyperprolactinemia or hypothyroidism or insulin resistance anything else that you need to know about polycystic ovaries book an appointment through librate thank you